All right, in this video, we got 10 new shortcuts and automations, but this time it's only about AirPods. I'm gonna show you how to set the noise canceling setting based on whether you're home or out of the house, automatically adjust the volume level whether you're playing podcasts or music, hear your good morning routine with your events, tasks, and weather for the day as soon as you put the AirPods in your ear, tell your AirPods which podcast to play, and how to auto mute social apps unless you have AirPods in your ear. First up, let's look at some of the actions that can affect the AirPods in automations and other shortcuts. Hit the plus button to start a new shortcut, and let's search for playback. One of the actions we'll be using in a lot of the shortcuts today is change playback destination. This action can force whatever is being played on your iPhone, or you can also add devices. This also is great for HomePods, adding multiple as a group. This is the close you can get to that. But then you can choose one of the playback destination devices here. Now your AirPods will only show up when you connect them to your phone. So I'm gonna put them in my ear. And once you have them in, now you'll see the AirPods Pro or whatever AirPods you have as an option. Now, if you don't have auto switching enabled on your AirPods, this is a great shortcut. In case you were already playing something on your iPhone, I can just run this shortcut and it'll move that audio to my AirPods. But you can also combine this with a shortcut like choose from menu. And now when I run this shortcut, it's gonna give me the option. Do I wanna send whatever audio to my AirPods or my HomePod? Then you can create this menu for as many devices as you'd like. All right, this next one, we're gonna create an automation that automatically changes the noise canceling setting on my AirPods Pro, depending on whether I'm home or away. So if we go to the Automations tab, we're gonna go down to the Bluetooth option as the trigger. Here we can choose when Bluetooth is connected and what specific device. Make sure you choose the right one. I have my AirPods Pro 2.5 because it's the USB-C version. So when those connect, I want the shortcut to run immediately, no confirmation required. I'm gonna do a new blank automation. From here, I'm gonna choose the stock Get Current Location action. Next, I'm actually gonna add a text block because it just makes it easier to manage the if action next. So I'll do text and we want that to be the current location. Now this is actually gonna return an address for current location. So next, I'm gonna add an if statement. I'm gonna choose if text contains, and then I'm gonna put my street address. I'm not gonna put it right here. I'll do something generic like one, two, three, four, main. You can also just put the name of your street if you want it to be a little more broad. But what this is gonna do is, when my AirPods connect to my phone, if my current location is home, then we're gonna look for the noise cancellation action. It's actually called set noise control mode. And now if I am home, I wanna set the noise control mode. Now you do have to put your AirPods in again in order for it to show up on this list. I'll choose my AirPods Pro, and then you can choose transparency, noise cancellation, or adaptive. I'm gonna choose transparency. Then I'm gonna duplicate this action. And if I'm not home, I want it to go into noise cancellation. So if I'm out doing grocery shopping, I put my AirPods in, it will automatically go to noise cancellation mode. But if I'm home, it'll set it to transparency so I can hear my family and people talking to me. So I just changed the automation to actually include my home address. I'll go to my noise cancellation mode here. So I'm actually gonna change it to noise cancellation for now. I'm gonna disconnect my AirPods so we can see the automation run when I put them in. And you can see that shortcut is running once my AirPods connected. And I just heard the mode change to transparency because the automation saw that I was home. This is actually an automation I'm gonna keep active because I do like transparency on at home, noise canceling when I'm out, but unfortunately I can't share an automation for you to download. So you will have to build it step by step. Number three, another action we're gonna use in future automations is set volume level. I'm gonna go back to our menu option here and let's search for volume and you'll see set volume is here under media. I'm gonna put that underneath and here you can set a manual volume level. So anytime your AirPods start playing, it's gonna be lower, so it's not too loud and you're unexpected. And this action is gonna be really useful in some of the automations we're about to build. So just wanted to mention the set volume action. Number four, let's create another automation. We're gonna use that set volume action, and now we're gonna start an automation so a podcast starts playing as soon as we connect our AirPods. Once again, we'll go to Bluetooth, is connected, choose your AirPods device, and run immediately, no confirmation necessary. We'll do a new blank automation, and I'm gonna choose the play podcast because this is actually gonna resume whatever podcast was currently playing. You don't have to choose a specific podcast for this action. That's all I'm gonna do, and then I'll hit done. Now that that automation is active, I'm gonna take my AirPods out, connect them. You'll see the shortcut just ran, and now it's playing my podcast automatically. Didn't even have to press play, just automatically started once my AirPods connected. This kind of automation is another great place to do that set volume. This way you can always make sure that the podcast or the music starts playing at a lower volume and then you can raise it as needed. Number five, maybe you wanna choose whether or not to play a podcast or music. Well, let's add a choose from menu. We're gonna be in the same automation here. So when AirPods are connected and let's do two options. We can do music and podcast. I'll move that play podcast action under the podcast menu option. Then I'll search for music 
And here I'll click and drag the tap music action under music, and you can choose what you would like to play. It can resume just playing the music you were previously listening to, or maybe we want to listen to the album that just came out last night. I'll add that. And now when I connect my AirPods, we'll see a menu pop up on the iPhone asking what I would like to listen to and then start playing that. I'll put my AirPods in. You'll see the shortcut runs and that menu pops up. I can choose which one, music or podcast. And when I choose one, it'll start playing whichever I chose. Just so you know, there are actions for third-party podcast apps as well. So if you use Overcast to listen, you could choose the play just for Overcast and it'll play whatever podcast was currently running. And Pocket Cast has a resume current episode action as well. So it works with all those. And no, unfortunately, Spotify has no shortcuts actions just yet. All right, I'm gonna jump back into this automation. And rather than asking what to play, we can actually run our good morning routine. I'm actually gonna choose the run shortcuts action. I'll search for our morning routine shortcut. I actually built this in my last shortcuts video. I'll link it above and down in the description. And now when I connect my AirPods, it's actually going to run my morning routine and I'll hear it in my ears. I'll play it out loud here on my phone just so you hear it. Good morning, Stephen. Here's what your day looks like. Today's weather, the high will be 91 degrees Fahrenheit. But you'll actually be hearing that in your ears because your AirPods will be connected. All right, number seven, let's get a little more advanced in this automation. So this is still the when AirPods are connected, set to run immediately. Maybe we want Siri to ask us what podcast to play. So I'm actually gonna choose a text block and I want my assistant to ask me that question. I'm actually gonna add a speak text action after this and I'm gonna hear that in my AirPods. Then I wanna add a dictate text action because I want it to actually listen to what I'm about to tell it. So it's gonna dictate the text and then we can add an if statement after the dictation and there might be a more accurate or better way to do this. So I'd love to hear in the comments if you have other ideas, but I'm gonna put if dictated text and then contains, I'm gonna put primary technology, which is my tech podcast. You should follow it in all the podcast apps and you can watch it here on YouTube. Links are down in the description. And under that if statement, I'm gonna search for podcast. Here you actually have the individual shows and I can tap and drag the primary technology show under that if statement. So when I connect my AirPods, this is gonna run automatically. The assistant's gonna ask me this question. It's gonna give me a chance to dictate text. And if I say something with those words, if contains that, then it's gonna play that podcast. This will all happen in your AirPods. I'm gonna preview it right here just so we can hear it together. What podcast would you like to listen to? Primary technology. And there you see the podcast started playing. Now you can add more if statements for all the podcasts you would like to choose audibly. And this is a great way to quickly choose the podcast without having to touch your phone. And it happens automatically when you put the AirPods in. All right, now we're gonna do a couple of automations for when AirPods are disconnected. I'm gonna hit the plus button. We'll go back down to Bluetooth. We'll choose when they're disconnected and you have to choose the specific device. Remember to choose the right one there. We want this to run immediately so there's no action on our part. We'll do a new blank automation. So when AirPods are disconnected, I'm gonna search for that change playback destination action and we wanna set it. Now you'll need to be connected to your car, which I won't be for it to show up here in the list, but then you can choose the car Bluetooth or CarPlay. This way you get in the car, maybe you had AirPods in because you were just grocery shopping, which is just often what I'm doing. After you take your AirPods out, it will then move that audio to the car automatically so you don't have to reach down and press play again. Now you might need to add another action after this, which is something we did at the beginning of the video, but search for the play action because oftentimes your media will pause when your AirPods are disconnected. Add a play pause action on that and you might have to change this around depending on your car or situation but maybe you want to continue playing whatever media back on the iPhone and then move it to your car or vice versa. You might have to play around with these actions, maybe add a wait command, but this way the audio will go back to your car when you take the AirPods out of your ear. Number nine, another option for this set playback destination is to send it to a HomePod. So maybe when I take my AirPods out of my ear, I want the audio to go to my studio HomePods. And while you could do handoff by tapping your phone to your HomePod, this way it just happens in the background immediately when you take your AirPods out. So when my AirPods are disconnected, it's gonna start playing again on my iPhone, but then move the audio to my studio HomePods. Let's test out this automation. So now my podcast is playing in my AirPods Pro. I'm gonna take them out. And for that, we thank you. You'll see it started playing my media as soon as it was disconnected. And now it's playing on my HomePods here in my office. And you can see here it moved to my HomePods after I took my AirPods out. Again, you can do this with an if statement, getting your current location. So when you're home and you take your AirPods out, it goes to a HomePod, but when you're not, it just pauses it. Lots of combinations here. All right, number 10, and I think this is one of the coolest automations. One of my popular automations has been when I open TikTok or Instagram, it automatically mutes my phone. This way you don't get that awkward moment in the waiting room and allow TikTok plays. But we can actually customize that. 
So I'm gonna go down and go to the open app trigger. We'll say, this is gonna run immediately. Don't notify me when run. And when is open, let's choose a couple apps here. I'm gonna choose Instagram and TikTok. Those are usually the worst offenders at auto playing something. So when I open either of those two apps, we're going to customize this. We'll do new blank automation. This is actually gonna be one of the third party app actions. It's from the actions app. I'll put a link to this app down in the show notes. I'm gonna choose the get audio playback destination action. This is not a built-in action, so you do need to use the third-party actions app for this. I'm gonna add another text block. Again, I just find it easier to deal with the variables and names this way. And then we can see what name this is gonna return when the shortcut runs in the background. I'll play it just so we could see. And right now, because I don't have my AirPods connected, it's gonna return the word iPhone. I'm gonna connect my AirPods and run it again so we can see what it returns. And now when my AirPods are connected, you'll see it actually returns the name of the device. Now we can use this in an if statement. And we're gonna build it like this. If the text contains the word AirPods, I actually want it to do nothing because when I open these apps, if I have my headphones in, I'm okay with audio playing because it's gonna be in my ear. But in the otherwise section, let's look for the set volume action. Here I'll drag the set volume action in the otherwise section and I want to move the media volume down to 0%. So when I open TikTok or Instagram, if AirPods are connected, leave the volume where it is, I'm fine hearing it. But if my AirPods are not connected, set the volume to 0%. I'm gonna hit done. So the volume's up about halfway. Let's open an app like Instagram. If I open it, the shortcut automation should see that my AirPods are connected and you'll see the volume did not change because it's gonna be playing in my headphones. But let's take my AirPods out. And now that I have no AirPods disconnected, when I open the Instagram app, you'll see the volume changes down to zero. So nothing comes out of my iPhone when I open Instagram or TikTok if I don't have headphones connected, but if my AirPods are in, then I can still hear the volume of the video. And those are 10 shortcuts ideas specifically for AirPods. If you have other ideas or maybe other actions you use with your AirPods, leave comments below and your shortcuts request. I have an entire list building those. So my next shortcuts request video will be coming soon. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it. Hit that like button. And if you're new to shortcuts, maybe this is the first shortcuts video of mine you've seen, check out this playlist right here. I walk you through beginner shortcuts, one step, easy ones, all the way to complicated automations. Just watch every video on that playlist, that'd be great. And if you wanna learn more about my favorite Mac apps, I actually did a video on my top 10. Use them every day, you can check that video out right up here. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you next time.